poem is entitled Church Folk. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I got some questions for church folk. Doesn't matter what I wear, hasn't God seen us naked? And I'm not referring to the cloths, hugging skin, but the spiritual being grown within. Did you realize that you church folks get so caught up in outside looks or how you think I wear my sin? But did you know that your fancy clothes don't hide the holes in your soul, hiding behind things appearing bold? Now, why are you church folks the same ones who holler, hooping and holler hallelujah out of the same mouths that hold cursing tongues like, like filthy freaky nuns who lie about their virginity? Are y'all hearing me? Instead of sprint, using your sprinting lips to gossip, why don't you use your praying hands to pray for these people? Yeah, those people. The ones who you spread whispers about in between aisles. The ones who you roll your eyes and fix your fast lips to say things like, ooh, girl. Do you see what she got on? Mm, I can't believe she came into God's house like that. Well, I can't believe you're talking about her in God's house like that because gossiping ain't godly. And neither are your disrespectful, prejudiced, hypocritical views. See, you don't know her story and all the things that she had to do to get here, so don't judge her about what she wears because she may have stumbled into this church after holding a handgun to her head, contemplating suicide as tears stumbled down her cheeks, knees grew a weak, and she probably would have pulled that trigger until she heard God speak into her hurting heart, telling her to come to this sanctuary, her purpose to change your life. Why do you church folk get so caught around outside appearance that you can't even see the God within? Does that make you feel more comfortable about your sin? See, I got some more questions. What about those church folks who claim that they believe in God, but their heart, but their minds worry more than the hearts pray? What more, how many more hours can worrying bring onto your day? What more does God have to say? But what about those church folks who have you hating the first lady because they want to have the pastor's babies, the deacons disagreeing, the restless members fleeing, the pastor stealing money from the brother who is struggling to make ends meet. He get paid at the end of a rough week. He's beat, but yet he still puts his check into the basket after it's been a pass around about three times now. It's crazy because he gives without question under the impression that his tithes are the ticket to heaven until the pastor has a confession. Church folk, do you realize how many souls you've been wrecking? See, the church is supposed to be like a hospital for wounded spirits to get well. So why does it feel like I'm visiting a burning hell? Why can't we just come together and accept each other for who we are? Do you really want to know what tears people away from the church? See, it isn't the fear of becoming closer to the most high nor is it the lack of desire to change. It's the people who don't take ownership for their actions, the people who hate one another, the people who don't express how they feel. But to the ones who do keep it real, we are pushed away and out of the church by nonsense at work. What really tears people away from the church, it's the sin that crawls under the pews. It's the jealousy that sits on its seats. It's the knives that are placed into backs. What tears people away from the church, it's the crucifying actions of church folk. Thank you.